Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned club kings of Europe? It's Manchester City. They take on Inter next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here at the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Jack Grealish plays with Phil Foden out wide. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Champions League final. strength to hang on to it and you just witnessed a moment of truly high class goalkeeping you're absolutely right what a save that is it's reacted so quickly and over comes the corner aerial opportunity couldn't take it well he did well to get to the ball first and he's unlucky there he just got too much on it Alvarez. The referee is 
to side and there will be just one minute of added time. Barella. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. Underway with Inter looking to find an effective route back into the game. They're racing away here. Keeper getting the touch. Quite the catalogue of great saves, and that's the latest one. Rodri. Here's Kovacic. Here's Alvarez. Walker. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Oh, a tremendous block. So a corner to City as they try to increase their advantage. And they're making a change. Over it comes. Diesch. And now Stones. Silva. Very quick thinking there. Barella. delivery City unable to retain possession and support available Chahanolu uh, counter-attacking possibilities all in all a broken counter-attack what to like about that pass Inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Dumfries. Varela has it. Chalanoru. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. They took care of the situation defensively. Grealish. underway with the lead standing at 2-0 Alexis Sanchez determined defending Walker and there it is full time Manchester 
City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat, but what an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they say for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here. moments they have to make the most of it doesn't happen very often does it these will be photos to cherish for years to come brilliant stuff the champions league victors manchester city